glue buddy. So this is uh, 12, I think by 16, I always say 14, which is six. No, it's actually six. Oh, now, okay. It is 11 by 14. All right. So many, you know, sizes and sometimes you get just confused changing a surface to another. And this is my third surface today. Each one is different. And right now I'm trying to spread my um, pillow as much as I can across my um, canvas and when doing that you get a lot of air bubbles so i'm just gonna do what i usually do without having to use uh the torch just hit your canvas sorry about that guys but this is a good tip and i made a video that is explaining how to deal with air bubbles from store to your canvas but I, d I didn't think that I uploaded it yet. It, it reminds me. Okay, so I'm just gonna put here. I still, I still some, see some more. Sorry, guys. Well, I think I'm just gonna add some pillow, and then when this, when it doesn't work. I just take my torch and hold it from far and do pulses. Just point to where you're going with, you know. When you do pulses and you're kind of far, your pillow does not get burned. This is out of experience. Okay, and I'm gonna be happy with this. All right, of course, always make sure to take the knob where it's safe, you close this piece where it's safe, and keep it far from um, you know, any anything that might, co might cause a fire. As well, you must have a fire extinguisher and get acquainted on how to use it. This is very important, guys. So, I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and cover. Let me just do it with the cup. And we're going to get some air bubbles, but they're going to be small. We're going to be able to manage them. This is good. And what I'm planning actually to do in this uh, rather, you know, larger surface than what I had a while ago, I'm just going to uh, do a bloom, but planning to see if I can leave a decent um, a negative space just to celebrate also my pillow and you know you see also then how the colors uh, you know suit the pillow really nicely so this is uh, ice lemonade from Sharon Williams I like it it's um, it's quite, it's a quiet color, let's say, compared to the citrus that I used a few videos back, which I liked as well. Okay, so let's just put these here and then start with the colors. 
and hopefully I can get a decent look. I think I will. Can you see guys? Okay, so. Uh, should I change the order or should I keep the same? I really don't know. Okay, so I think I'm going to change the order. So some of the colors are custom made. This is this rich color is peacock feather uh, by color arte. Um, primary elements. Look at this color. But actually, it just reminds me, before I put these colors, I want to show you something which is very, very important. While I was pouring my, my pillow paint into the glass, see, this is a sludge into the can. If this, you didn't notice this and it sits in your pillow, that said it ruins your design in no time. And while I was putting also my color here, I discovered another sludge. I don't see it now, but it was smaller. So when you actually put your pillow, whether you you get it from uh, the can, uh, this is the way they come, you know, into like uh, almost like eight five, eight six five ml but um, make sure always to be to look vigilantly on when you pour in a glass or on on your canvas that you notice that you don't get you don't miss those sludges you know and that's why I also use glasses first of all it's easier on me when I you know put my like how much I put in over each canvas. And second, uh, it allows me also to get rid of all of those sludges before they found their place on, on the canvas. But also when you put your, you pour your pillow on the canvas, also be on the lookout for these guys. You can easily miss a small one and you find yourself, um, losing your design so i think i'm going first with this green kind of also wannabe uh, lemony you know now we have some lemons in this color right I thought, okay, let's change the way I layer this time. Hoping for good results, guys. Because I got beautiful results. So. Um, then. I'm going to go with. Okay, I'll show you to you soon. Okay, I think I put actually more. This is uh, a redescent bronze from Golden. Anybody who's following me knows that I've been using it a lot. <laughs> it's time to use another bronze. Okay, now. I really would like now to use this color. Peacock feathers from... A color art, a primary element. Oh God, I have beautiful colors here. Do you see, guys? It's just, this, this green is amazing. This green, look at this. Rich, yummy. So, 
now we done with that and by the way i'm choosing here earthy colors this is silver by amsterdam and by the way all my colors today are let's see now they're all semi-transparent none is opaque I, I don't look anymore i don't actually check anymore if this is opaque or what i just go with the flow <laughs> okay now we're gonna do now up to Mm -hmm. all right so here this is a custom color out of two colors out of two pen tubes tubes and flow so this is it like yellow wanna be brown I think it's a couple of nickels. One is gold and one nickel yellow. I think now I remember. Been trying to remember what I called it. Now, how many colors do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I try nowadays, and based on my experience, not to exceed five, max six. The reason is if I do more than that, I, my eye does not like it, my eyes. All right, now, what I'm gonna do is, what am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? Let's see now. I will put this Oh, let me see. This is three colors, guys, and I don't know what I did. I don't remember. But it's reddish, pink, maroonish, brownish. Yeah. Enough? Enough? That is it, I think. And I hope I can get like one that feels like here, leaving some pillow. You know, just as a background. Yeah, okay. Whew. What now? Okay, I have gold and, and copper, but I think my colors key call for copper. My preference also, blame it on the colors. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh God, I have to mix a new, a new selectivators. paint does not want to move yeah it's beautiful must say but I mean I kind of here's the thing I used to get to fill up the place with my maybe it's a new pillow maybe it has something that is you know this is the third piece today and they're all beautiful, but I I'm, I wasn't, this is what I could get. More than this, bigger than this, I could not get. I don't know, but it's beautiful. 
This is also beautiful illustrations. Oh, guys, I'm experiencing new phenomenon. <laughs> I don't understand it. I wish somebody would tell me. Really, when you teach yourself, <laughs> then you know that you have no friends but yourself. But good learning. And soon, guys, we will be, look at us now, we will be doing a collaboration, uh, Mona Rosa Art with The Painted Dreamer by my friend Judy, with um, Hope Design by my friend uh, Mandy. I think we will do that every Monday. So, we agree on certain colors and you get to see then also uh, like, you know, three variations of, uh, oh, okay, of, you know, using certain colors that we agree on. I love this guys I just love like you know the fact that it's taken part of of the canvas okay let's do one more um, and it's already almost covering my my edges which is good Okay, let me just help it with a bit of pillow here. And a bit here. The rest is good. Okay. Somehow I do a better job with clockwise, anti-clockwise than clockwise. Look at this, guys. Isn't it amazing? You know, and keep it like, keep this nice pillow needs a little bit a little bit of touch here you know i think it's actually nice to also you know celebrate the beautiful pillow mm, i can i can maybe i don't know i don't want to win no nope, not winning the design no nope. and all right, almost everything is covered, guys. I will let you go, it's already 18 minutes. And I'm just gonna work on the, you know, the, the edges and the tips, you know, when you leave, make sure that the tips are covered. So, you know, when I include teaching while I'm doing a piece, it usually takes longer, but it is actually good because it's these, these points that I teach came from a one year practice. And even if they repeat it, they're repeated, actually it's to the benefit of whoever is either in you or to my channel or to the technique or, you know, um, I just like to share what I learned with you guys. Uh, I made it my mission when I started this challenge, this channel. So, so yeah, soon I will be doing 
uh, I mean, giving information or a lesson about getting the best uh, negative space um, swipe. So, yeah. Um, so stay tuned. <laughs> Bye for now.